when I arrive here in UK, they are all full of smile, they welcomed us properly, they um, guided us to whereabout is the place where we have to go. Even the smallest, like, little plug of your mobile phone, they will help you. And even if you go to the market, everybody will say hi, hello, good morning, how are you, how are you settling in, and how's your work, and did you like it, and how's the weather, are you, are you, um, are you now, um, like, you know, are you warm enough? And everybody's just, like, willing to help. Go out and meet a lot of friends because they might be somebody you know from back home and watch a lot of TV soap operas like Emmerdale and Coronation Street to get used to their accent here. So I thought that generally England and UK speaks the same accent. So when I get here in, in mid Yorkshire or West Yorkshire, the accent is so different. Sometimes they're missing the R, sometimes they're missing the T, sometimes they're trying to shortcut the word. And it is so difficult to understand. But eventually, you'll get used to it. A bit strange that everybody calls you love. You know, it makes you feel so loved, so accepted. And it is nice because you yourself, I myself, I'm very proud that I can speak Yorkshire now. <laughs> and I feel like, oh, I belong to Yorkshire. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> I can speak Yorkshire. <laughs> People you need are very willing to help. If you're lost anywhere, like if you don't know where you're going and you're on a bus, feel free to ask the drivers. When you go to the banks and shops, anywhere, people are always willing to help. When I first moved here, the biggest challenge for me is the weather. During winter time, it's really, really very cold. We came over here with a temperature of negative one, and it was so cold. We went outside and we looked at the snow and it's just like, it's real, it's just, no, it's so real. So I would also say, carry yourself just a few warm clothes. Don't do too much shopping because things are cheaper here. Uh, it's nice to have a, a nice thick coat with you, but if you buy them here, it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, before, um, 20 years ago, or 19 to 20 years ago, it was so difficult because we have to buy these um, phone cards and it cost us like about 20 pounds a week because we always phone our loved ones back home, especially our kids, our parents and husbands and, and uh, relatives. The communication is very easy now, especially through WhatsApp, which is free. We have Viber, we have Messenger, we have FaceTime, and you don't have to pay anymore. It's all free. So anytime you want to get in touch with them, it's there. What I would say, just be ready to enjoy life um, and to enjoy your work, to enjoy a new place, to integrate with other people. Everybody is always willing to help, not just us Filipino people, the Filipino community, but your colleague, they are always ready to help you. Even the littlest part of your worry, they can always answer you. Anybody who is coming to work and live in Leeds, um, it would be very good if they could have a very open mind, but also at the place of work to learn and to develop, to ask questions without fear, without worry, and you learn to enjoy the whole, uh, you, your work and your home life.